it's a rough day, guys. <laughs> so, okay, for this presentation, I will be basically explaining the criteria in terms of like um, AV Club, and I will be explaining more into the structure at the moment. So today we'll um, ultimately be discussing what the AV Club basically does and its sole purpose, I guess you can say, like its structure and how it came to be, um, what we've done so far this year, and criteria for future officers and what they, they are expected to be in terms of characteristics and, and attributes and values, and overall preparation for future members and leaders. So this is something that we should all know because we're all members, but I'm going to explain it for the fun of it. So the AV Club's purpose this is the first year that we've ever been an actual club and we've actually been open to other members that aren't part of the AV program because usually it was just like a group of kids that are from the actual program. Hi, Bruno. Anyways, so um, this is basically, an, um, I'm so glad that we were able to make this club because um, it's basically creating an outlet for future, for AV students and future practicum kids and overall people that are interested in, con in being content creators because I feel like it's unfair with like the school system and all that, that um, some kids that want that are interested in the media aren't able to take it, be, aren't able to like take AV because of like certain scheduling issues and AP classes and all that stuff. So I, I felt that like this was a really great opportunity for us to expand on um, kind of like the, I guess you can say the amount of people that are interested in this. So we joined together to not be only informed about the mass media and the AV program and all that we do, but as well as to just socially interact with people. And I think that's um, one thing that I really wanted to do before I graduated, and I'm glad that I accomplished this, was to be a president of a club. And I'm so glad that I achieved that. And I would really recommend doing it because it honestly changes your life. I know that sounds very dramatic, but I'm being serious because I never thought that I would, like going back from my freshman year, I never thought that I would be able to socially interact with people in a way and be as close connections. And I'm so glad that I interact with the people that I do today. And I'm so glad to have people that are pretty awesome. So um, this is considered a so-called chill club. Um, unlike some clubs, I'm not going to be shady. This is just being honest. Uh, most clubs, they tend to focus on um, community service hours and, they basic and funding when in reality it's just you not wasting your money per se, but you spending a, an excessive amount of money to achieve something. But it's, I personally do not think that um, it's very essential in terms of this club because this club is more to entertain. Like I said, it's more of a social outlet. It brings people together and um, it allows us to discuss and learn more about things. So, and one thing that I'm glad that we were able to do is have a lot of fun. So, what's up? I don't think it's the job, I think it's the people. Aww, yeah. You're absolutely That's right. so sweet. <laughs> I get you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I couldn't see you. I've, I've been like, I'm like hunched over. Okay. So what we accomplished so far, I know that this list may look small, but believe me, it has a lot of purpose. So despite it being our first year as a virtual club, I'm actually proud. Not only am I proud, but I'm actually kind of shocked and kind of like really glad of all that we accomplished. So we contribute to other school events. I know that in the very beginning, we decided to take the lead and um, join the fall festival. It was really stressful, <laughs> but um, so yeah, stressful. we don't wanna talk about it. But honestly, it was great because it was a lot, it, it was a huge example of us joining in together and having a lot of fun because overall, that's what it really is about. I'm really bonding because when we like were planning and we were working on like painting that whole thing, the mural, it, we all really bonded as one like we had music we were dancing we were oh yeah that was really fun time. yes it was really a, like us connecting like it, it was a, it was really stressful but really then product it was worth it it was worth it uh okay so as i said before we have socials so um we uh obviously we had the photo walks as mentioned before i know that i wasn't able to attend this but i know that we had laser tag at the bowling alley i heard that yeah. it was pretty fun and then um, one little thing that we had right before the end of winter break is we had like a Christmas party. So we all met up here and we um, sang a lot of karaoke and we played Smashed. And yeah, it was honestly, that was really fun. And one thing that we are doing currently right now is AV boot camp. So previously in the years, we had this thing called, well, the AV practicum kids had this thing called AV 101. So it was um, a group of kids, Dean, Contreras, and Karen Munoz and such. And I know a few other kids, they... Um, in order for to help future practicum kids, they uh, kind of made videos 
uh, giving like how to instruction guides of how to do certain things such as um, EP monthly as well as um, just um, how to create content in general. So we decided to do that right now, but more interactive. And um, currently I am recording uh, my audio and I've been doing this and we've been doing this ever since we do our presentation. So if you are ever, um, if you ever want to hear the presentation again or want to hear previous presentations or a presentation that you missed, you can go on egopublicradio.wewe.com or go on our YouTube and they will be there for sure. So, all right, this is the important part. So, all right. Um, the officer positions are a little different compared to this compared to this year's because as I said this was the first year of our um this was the first year of our official club so Mr. Sanchez and I kind of like reflected on on kind of how um I guess you can say kind of how um things worked out in the end in terms of like um club interaction uh club members interactions and stuff like that and we kind of made um four we still have four officer positions but there's some that are a little different and we kind of actually have like full responsibilities for them and i hope that whoever is has any whoever gets that position whether it's president or anything like that is able to succeed in achieving those accomplishments so they can be an active member from either this club like this like a member of this year's club or overall the AV organization in general. I do not, like I prefer, and I know that a lot of us would prefer like someone just walking in that I've never, like none of us have ever even met or like they've just showed up to like one or two meetings and they're like, yo, I wanna be president. No, that's not how it works here. Um, they must be present as much as possible. I can't emphasize that enough. I know that we all have lives. Sometimes I can't even make to the meetings because it's like an emergency or I can't, but you have to make sure that, you're, that you are not only present in the club, but present in general, present in general in terms of um, being able to be present in, um, being able to be interactive and kind of like available when it comes to like certain events or the social or stuff like that, you have to be very active. Um, you must be willing to communicate with others as well. One thing I would really recommend that I wish that we had more of was um, the officers being able to meet separately or like even talking in the group chat and being able to communicate well enough to figure out um, certain events that are coming up or um, things like that. Um, they must be open minded to ideas and events. This is not a one. This is not like just the team, just the officers and that's it. They have to be open to um, ideas and events and sessions like that from other members because overall, even though that this is, um, that we are focusing on the officers right now, I'm not only talking about the, um, the future of other offi of officers, my apologies, but I'm also talking about the future of like the club in general. So I hope that whoever becomes an officer is able to communicate well enough with their members in order to create um, a better agenda, I guess you can say. So they must be committed to their role and their responsibilities. That's pretty obvious. So let us begin. So the first one is obviously the arguably the most important one, as like like <laughs> just saying. I'm I'm as you know I'm president. Um, they must be a leader and not a dictator. As I said, you have to be you have to be very respectful. But this is something that's obvious in terms of like not just president or this club, but in terms of a leader in general. You can't. You have to be willing to communicate with others well enough, and you, like I said, you must have open mindedness in order for you to, but not only be creative, but for you to allow other members to be creative. Because if not, the social interaction with others wouldn't be great as you think they are, as you as you think it is. Like in the club, wouldn't be so hot and fresh. And um, their responsibilities is to overall host meetings, just like I'm doing right now. They must be able to organize events to the like to the T, like exact time, present setting, who's going, um, what do you need, equipment, stuff like that, such as a social, such as uh, events if you contribute to other organizations, such, such as the fall festival. And they must enforce deadlines. They must make sure that not just the officers, but they must make sure that everyone is in line, I guess you can say, for lack of a better term. And they must make sure that like the club is A-OK. -okay. So this one's the president. All right, we have PR coordinator slash historian. So if you are creative or interested in film and photography, this position is completely perfect to you, perfect for you. The responsibilities consist of creating announcements. Um, usually what I do is we have an announcement form and we basically write, we try our best to write um, them for every week to kind of remind y'all that, hey, there's gonna be a meeting and also creating the announcements in a group chat, which I would, rec I would recommend still having for next year's club. Um, Capturing pictures and videos of events, accomplishments. One thing that would be really cool, just a suggestion. I'm not saying this, I'm not saying that you should do it. 
because I'm not going to be here to, next year. But one thing I would suggest would be really cool is you have like an end of year um, or like slideshow type thing kind of showcasing what you all did because it's it's good to look back and see that all y'all and that all y'all that all y'all did because as we've said before like the end product is worth it and it it, it shows all the good times we've had. And in general, um, basically be in charge of uh, PR. One thing I would suggest is perhaps um, announcing it in, in any of the AV club in the AV program social media such as their Instagram or Twitter. So, all right. The next one is secretary. Now, this one has a simple objective, simple responsibility, but it means a lot. One thing that I would recommend is keeping track of attendance. Um, as you saw, we have a sign-in sheet. And um, one thing that would be really cool is y'all if is if the secretary has a Google for, or Google Forms and keeps track of like who of like um, kind of like and like it's the purpose of it is for analyzation I guess you could say like analytics and kind of tracking of who's gonna be president and who's gonna be not because that way you can kind of have an idea of who's an active member and who isn't and I think that's very important to any club in general. Um, and perhaps it would be in reference for future events. I know that for um, one of the clubs that I'm in. Angels of Hope, what we do is the reason why we have attendance is due to um, the fact that we have an end of year trip and it's kind of we look back and see who the active members are and whoever is the most active is able to go to that trip and stuff like that. So incentives, I guess you can say. It's emphasized that if you're taking care of the attendance that you must be present, of course, like you can't you can't take attendance if you're not even here. So but then again, I think that everyone should be able to be um, present. Like everyone is, is, all the officers are required to be present, as present as possible. And if the secretary isn't able to be present, um, they have to make sure and be responsible for taking care of the attendance, regardless if they're here or not, asking another officer for, to take it and stuff like that. All right, the last one. <laughs> it's basically, this is a simple one, but I think it's very important. It's the bouncer and the bodyguard of, the cl of like the club. So they keep everything in line in a respectable manner. I don't want any of y'all to eat them out like mm -hmm. this guy. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know that TV show. If you do, I'm going to give you a high five. But um, basically, I think that this one, even though it's such a simple job, I think it's very important because sometimes, like, it happens. Like, y'all, like, some of some people, like, start talking while, while the officer is presenting and it's it's rude it's disrespectful but it's good but like if you're recognizing that it's disrespectful i don't think the parliamentarian should be able to like tell them to be quiet in a respectful in a disrespectful manner they have to make sure that they're like complying to like being able to like treat others the way that they want to be treated and at the same time making sure that the club is the club especially the meetings are doing okay so in conclusion this is not a one-man job so I'm going to be honest when I say, like, I, the last thing I want for any of the officers to do is to go through the same thing that I did. Because this, was a, this is the first year of the club, and one can argue that there's supposed to be four officers right now. And I'm not, I'm not doing this to be rude or to be shady, but I'm, like, it's not fair having someone to, be, to take the load off every single other officer and be able to do all these responsibilities of other officers when that's not what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm not saying this to be rude or to be disrespectful to any of my officers because I'm grateful to have them. But regardless, the, the main purpose of me saying this is because I do not want this, this to happen to any of you. I do not want any of you to go through the same thing that I went through and be pressured and be frustrated and having mental breakdowns to the fact that like you have to take care of everything because no one else will. So this is a serious note. Like I, and I hope that um, when I come back from UT and I see y'all doing good i really hope so i'm getting really sad <laughs> gonna be like i'm president again yeah so thank you guys um right now we're gonna be having sorry i'm getting emotional